Good morning, grade 10. So I'm going to start with a video for the first chapter. The first chapter is not for tests or exams. This is just for reference. And this is a, uh, I want to say, the basics that you need to know in science in order to do the rest of your three years of the science class. So if you can't do the basics in here, we have big problems. All right, now we start here with just a system of units. We call this the SI unit. So they can ask in an exam, they ask, please give the SI unit for blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is something that you need to know. I'm just going to highlight a few things that you will get to know in the next three years. But most importantly, what you'll uh, um, learn in this coming year in grade 10 in science. Okay, you need to know that length is measured in meters, and that's a symbol. Mass is in kilograms. Now, kilograms we use in physics, and we use grams when we are busy with chemistry. Okay, so this is the two main topics in science, is physics and chemistry. Physics is when we work with big things like planets and humans and animals and trees and so forth. And chemistry is when we work with very small things like atoms, molecules and so forth. All right, so when we're busy with big things, we use kilograms. Small things, just grams. Right, then time we measure in seconds, electric current in amperes. Then a new one that you're going to know next year, temperature we measure in Kelvin. Then something you're going to learn this year, the amount of substance we measure in moles or mole. We're not going to use intensity. Then frequency we measure in hertz. Force in newtons. Pressure in pascal. Energy in joules. Power in watts. Electric charge in coulomb. Potential in volts. Resistance in ohms and degree Celsius, obviously, um, we're going to use, but we're going to rather work in Kelvin next year. And then we need to know how to change one symbol from the one to the next. Okay, not symbol, um, the size, the magnitude of something. Let's say, um, so I'm, this I'm just going to do on a separate page. Let's say I tell you um, from my house. To the school is um, five million millimeters. Does that make sense to tell you from a house to the school is five million millimeters? No, it doesn't make sense to work in millimeters. It doesn't make sense to work in meters. It rather makes sense to work in kilometers. Right, so we need to know how do we go from millimeters to kilometers. That is important for us. And that's what we're going to practice a lot in this chapter. Okay, so that is what I, uh, well, this is what's happening here, but I'm going to go into that in a moment. That is what I did here. Okay, we need to convert from one unit to the next. So this little block here represents any one of these um, units that we have here. Oh, not unit, um quantities that we have here it can either be meters and then kilometers megameters gigameters terameters or we can work in newtons kilonewtons meganewtons giganewtons teranewtons or we can work in grams kilograms megagrams gigagrams teragrams or we can work in bytes kilobytes megabytes gigabytes terabytes and so forth so that Bracket there can be any one of these quantities, okay? But we need to know how do we go from one quantity to the next, okay? So if I want to know how many meters are there in 5 million millimeters, then I say, all right, in uh, a 1,000 millimeters, I actually have one meter. So what did I do from here to there? I divided by a thousand. Now in science we are very lazy and we want to abbreviate as much as possible. So I'm not going to write uh, divide by a thousand. What I'm going to write is times 10 to the power negative 3. Okay now ma'am whoa how did you get to that? A quick pause. In mathematics we know let's say I have um, x to the power of 2 
over x to the power 5. Okay, and I need to simplify that. What can I do? I can say x to minus 5, right? And that gives you x to the power negative 3. Or you can write that as 1 over x to the power of 3. Because if you go from the bottom to the top of a fraction, you go up, you uh, minus, you subtract. And when you go from the top to the bottom, or from the top to the bottom, it becomes a positive like that. Ne? So you know that in mathematics. Now the same thing here. If I say divide by 1,000, I can basically say that is times... 1 over 1,000, that is the same thing. Or I can say that is times 1 over 10 to the power of 3. Or I can say times 10 to the power of negative 3, if I take that to the top. So that's the same thing. To divide by the th 1,000 is the same as saying times 10 to the power of negative 3. Times 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, so instead of writing that, you can write that, but it's more scientific to write times 10 to the power of whatever, whatever. Okay, so if I say I walk a 1,000 millimeters, then I'm going to divide by 1,000 or times 10 to the power of negative 3 to say, well, I've walked 1 meter. Now, if I want to convert that into kilometers, okay, let's take a pause there. If I say I walk a 1,000 meters, how many kilometers did I walk? Well, I hope you all know that a thousand meter is one kilometer. So what did I do? I said times 10 to the power negative three. I divided by a thousand. Okay, so now we're going to go all the way to the top here again. If I say I walk five million millimeters and I want to convert that into kilometers, what should I do? Well, if I went from millimeters to meters, I say times 10 to the power negative 3. And if I go from meters, meters to kilometers, I say times 10 to the power of negative 3. Now, in mathematics, again, if you add that with one another, so you have 10 to the power negative 3 times 10 to the power negative 3. What do you do? So you're not add and multiply. Then that becomes times 10 to the power negative 6, right? So you're going to say that times 10 to the power negative 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0 goes away, and I've walked 5 kilometers. Okay, right, so what did I just do there? I've explained that sometimes it's better to work in the normal unit, sometimes it's better to work in a bigger unit, sometimes it's better to work in a smaller unit, and we need to convert from one to the next. Okay, how do you do that? Each jump there is a thousand or ten to the power of three. And if you go from a smaller unit, that's now millimeters, to a bigger unit, kilometers, then you need to divide times ten to the power of negative three. If you go from a bigger one to a smaller one, you need to multiply by a thousand. I'm going to show that in a moment. Just what does these symbols mean? Here at the top, okay, if you have... A capital T there is Terra, then we have Giga, Mega, Kilo. We don't use Hector or Hector that much, like a Hector. We have, uh, we don't use Deca that much. Then we have Deci, Centi, Milli, Micro, Nano and Pico. We use that quite a lot. Pico, Nano, Micro. Now Micro there, it actually has a small tail like that. Okay, so each jump is a thousand except for here. It's not a thousand. Each jump there is ten, a ten, 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 ten. Okay. Now let's quickly see what do I mean here. They say change the following from a multiple, multiple to a basic unit. Okay. So we need to go from twenty milliseconds to seconds. So twenty milliseconds to seconds. So we need to do one jump. So one jump is times 10 to the power of 3, but we need to check, is it negative or is it positive? If we go from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, we jump that way, we jump to the right, and then we multiply with the negative, so we're basically dividing by a 1,000. Okay, so that will become, if you type that into your calculator, you say 20 times 10 to the power of negative 3, and you get... Sorry, I just want to put my calculator into what you see right now. You get 0 0.02. 
Okay, next one. If we go from kilograms to grams, so we go from kilo, K, to the normal unit, grams, kilograms to grams. We go to the left, we jump one, so it's times 10 to the power of 3. And we go from a bigger unit to a smaller unit that way. So we just multiply by a thousand, and if you type that into your calculator, you get 2,400 grams. Okay, next one. 3,260 meters, and we want to go to kilometers. So we go from meters to kilometers, so we jump that way. So it's one jump times 10 to the power 3, and we jump from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, so it's negative. So times 10 to the power negative 3, and you get 3.26 kilometers. And then 25 amperes to milliampere, so we want to go from amperes to milliampere, so we jump that way. So it's one jump, so it's times 10 to the power of Three and we check again, so we go from a bigger unit amperes to milliamperes that way, so it's times 10 to the power of negative 3. So that, if you type that into your calculator, you get, sorry, you get 0 0.025 milliamperes. Okay, so you get the idea of the jump. I just want to do one more. So you can write here number 5. Let's say we want to go from centimeters let's say someone tells you they are um a hundred and sixty centimeters okay and you want to know but how many meters are they so you want to go from centimeters to meters now this year is almost like a, a enlargement like you zoom in from between milli to the normal. So let's say from millimeters to normal meters, you zoom in. Normally that jump is 10 to the power of 3, or normally that jump is a thousand. So that means you actually have a jump of 10, 10, 10. Because 10 times 10 times 10 gives you a thousand. So if you do one jump of 10, you go from millimeters to centimeters. From centimeters to decimeters is an, sorry decimeters is another jump of ten. From deci to normal meters is another jump of ten. Okay, so now we want to go from centimeters to normal meters. So that is two jumps of ten. What is ten times ten is a hundred, or in scientific notation, ten to the power of two. Ten times ten. Okay, we went from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, so we have to subtract, it has to be a negative, so times 10 to the power of negative 2, and then you get that person is 1.6 meters, right?